Hello everyone, this is our field Sando. Today I'm going to go through read code problem range addition. If you like my video, uh, you can support me by subscribing my channel or uh, click yes um, for this video so uh, more audience can um, reach my content. You also can find the complete code and the video list in video description below. So let's look at the problem first. We are given um, an integer length for the array, and it will start with all zero. Um, then we are given the updates. Uh, each update uh, consists of start and end and uh, increment values. So we need to follow all the steps uh, in update list, then output the resulting array. So let's uh, first look at what first example. So we are given the length of five, uh, then we initialize all zero with length y array. Then we follow the update uh, step by step to generate the resulting array. So first, uh, which means from the start index 1 to end index 3, we are up, up in the array by adding up 2. So first, uh, add 2, and the second index, add 2, and third index, add 2 as well. So after this first up update, we end up 0, 2, 2, 2, 0. Uh, then next, uh, second update from 2 index to 4, adding 3. So index 2, adding 3 from 2 is 5. Then 2 to 5, 0 to 3. We also can add up negative values as the third update. It starts from 0 index to the second index. Uh, then we do the minus 2, 0 to minus 2, 2, 0, 5 to 3. Then this is our resulting array, minus 2, 0, 3, 5, 3. It's very easy to think about the brute force problems, right? So basically, we go through all the updates and updating the array. Then let's look at the computation complexity for this brute force uh, method. So if we have n length of list, then n number of uh, range updates, so that for each update, we need to do uh, some some kind of length of list, uh, but the worst case is n, right? So, say the worst update uh, ask us to update n length range. So we put the worst uh, length for that. Then we have m update. So the total complexity uh, in worst case can be equal of n multiply m. Of course, there is a better method. Uh, to reduce this computation complexity to n log n or big of n or big of log n. Now let's look at the method can give us um, big of n kind of linear uh, complexity. This prop, uh, method called sweep line. So the total idea is we want to start from the left very left index of the array, then doing one short update from the left to the right. So doing this one short update, we can directly generate resulting array in one shot. Of course, uh, since we only update uh, each array elements by once, so it's big of n complexity. Then let's look at how we do that. Then based on the whole process of the brute force algorithms, the one way we can think about that is we record the first and the last index. Then it tells us in this range, basically we want to all increment the specific value. For example, for the first index and third index, we know that we want to 
starting adding to in the first index and it's later until its end index. Instead of just a uh, specified range, we can just, uh, since we want to sweep from left to right, we can just add in two here, have a say like a temporary variable to add two here and uh, add in two for all the later variables. But we want to start in to minus two from the end index plus one. So anything here is three, uh, we just put the minus two on the temporary variables start from the uh, fourth index. Then the same for two, four, three here, we start in adding three onto a temporary variable. Since n index plus one is out of range, we don't need to minus three uh, correspondingly. Then for the last update, we start in minus two in the first value, then we will plus two on the ending as plus one. Here, I don't put examples. It's maybe cover um, the range start from the same indexes, but the, the idea is the same. I just leave this special case for you to figure out. Uh, then let's see how uh, once we have these temporary variables, let's see how we uh, complete the resulting array. So at the first index, our temporary variable is minus two. So we just directly put minus two here since it starts from zero. So next index, our temporary variable is minus two. But in this index, we need to also plus two here. So plus two plus minus two is given zero. Then for the, th uh, the third element, we need to plus three here. Since our temporary variable is zero, we're adding another three here. Uh, the same for the fourth, and uh, for the fourth index, we need to minus two, so we minus two from five here um, to the three. I'll show you how to uh, implement Um, to store the intermediate variable here. But the whole idea for this algorithm is think about how to sweep from left to right and doing the update in one shot. Then let's go through how to implement this uh, algorithm. So here uh, I have uh, an ordered map. Um, the key is the index. The beginning, uh, the index, I will do some operation. And uh, the value is we want to add or a minor some value here. So here it goes in all the update, right? So then um, for each map maps key, I either plus the value or minus the value. Here uh, I also update the key for the end index plus one. Uh, as the algorithm I explained in previous slide. Then here we have our temporary variable defined. Then we start to generate our resulting array. Then for the next for loop, um, we are doing the sweep line from the left to the right. So if there is a value in the hash map in current index, we update our temporary variables. We also put our temporary variables in our resulting array. It's pretty simple. Then eventually uh, we will return our resulting array. So next, computation complexity. Here we have a for loop for the length of updates. So it's M. And then we have next for loop. It's the length of the resulting arrays N. So our final computation complexity is big O, O, M plus N is a linear. Then the space, since we open a hash map to store the index to the value, then the key uh, can be large as the length of array. 
right? Because there's only n index uh, in the array. If there's duplicate, we just uh, directly update on that key. So the space is bigger of n. Right, so this is uh, uh, my solution for this problem. Um, if you have some question or comment, please feel free to leave it below in the video. And uh, I see you in the next video. Bye.